What's up everybody? It's George the Carpenter and today we are going to make a pickler triangle. The pickler triangle is much more than a children's toy. Instead, it is a foundational tool used by thousands of families across the world. The triangle was invented by Dr. Emmy Pickler over a hundred years ago to help young children focus on building freedom of motion, forging independent activity, and allowing them to increase their motor development skills starting from an early age. So stay tuned to see how it's done. First, I need to mark out the stringers that will hold the dowel. So I mark the first board at 36 inches, then make my cut. Next, I mark a 32 inch piece and make the second cut. Oh, by the way, this is an eight foot long one by six of solid oak, bud. So with the remaining 28 inches, I make one last cut at 15 and a quarter because these last two pieces will become the triangles that hold the stringers in place. Now I'm gonna get these boards in the clamps right away so the glue can set while I work on the rest of the parts. And before I lay down any glue, I like to put some painter's tape on the clamp bars so any glue squeeze out doesn't gum up the clamps and ruin them. Then I spread a healthy amount of glue on one side of the joint and set them in the clamps. Now over to the table saw. I set the fence to 2 and 5 eighths and rip the 32 and 36 inch pieces that will make the stringers that hold the 1 inch dowel. Now I lay the pieces out on my bench. And I'm looking for something that is going to give me a nice round profile on the ends of each of these stringers. But I couldn't really find anything that worked. So after some hard thinking, I finally found something that will work. The dust cartridge on my mask is going to be perfect. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. I want all my stringers to be the exact same length, so I took one of each length and cut them very close to my line and then sanded the rest off with my orbital sander. Then once I had both legs dialed in, I two-way taped them to each other and used my DeWalt cordless jigsaw to cut close to the template and then my router with a top bearing flush trim bit to eat the rest. And before I take these boards apart, while they're still taped together, I sand the ends ensuring everything stays the same and all the machine marks are gone. Then I'm ready to move on to marking out the spacing of the dowels. On the 36 inch piece, I start the first mark at an inch and a quarter. And on the 32 inch piece, I made a mark at two and a quarter, then marking five inch centers the rest of the way. You're going to have six dowels on the 32 inch piece and seven dowels on the 36 inch piece for 13 dowels total. Then I square up the ends so they match and square each line through to the other board ensuring all points match and once that's all marked I go back and mark the centers on each line. Here I'm using a spring loaded punch to mark the centers of each hole. So when I start drilling, the point on my Forstner bit has a starting point and doesn't wander when I start drilling. I'm drilling each hole to the depth of the shoulder on this 1 inch Forstner bit to keep things consistent. Then once all holes are drilled, I go back with the pilot drill and punch the centers through to the other side so I know where to countersink the center of each dowel. Now back to the router with the 8 inch round over bit just to soften the edges a little bit on all the stringers. Last thing I want is for the kiddos to get a sliver while playing on the triangle. Okay, time to cut 13 dowels. I cut mine at 30 inches, but you could go a couple inches more or a couple inches less. I wouldn't go too much more, but if you wanted you know, to get a little more width on your triangle than I would say max 36 inches but remember these are only one inch dowels so you don't want to stretch it too far and then have a dowel break because that would hurt and now that they're all cut I just took some 220 sandpaper and smoothed out each dowel 
Using the holes I previously drilled through, I drill the centers of each dowel so they don't split when I go to screw them in for good, and at the same time, countersinking the outside of the stringers where my screws will go. When you have multiple parts on a project all coming together, it's always a good idea to pre-sand your pieces so you're not stuck sanding after the fact when everything is together and way more difficult. This oak was already surfaced four sides, so I started sanding at 150 grit and worked my way up to 320. Now that all the main parts are cut and sanded, it's time to switch gears and get the glue up out of the clamps and cut into the triangles that will hold the ladders in place, creating the pickler triangle. The triangles are going to finish at 10 inches across the bottom and about 9 inches tall, so I mark 10 inches on opposite sides of my glue up. Then I use my square to mark a 30 degree line on each point. Quickly set my saw to 30 degrees and chop it up. Back to my handy dandy dust cartridge to round off all these points. Again, I'm going to use the same technique as I did on the stringers, so I'm only going to do this to one of the two triangles and then use my router to match them both perfectly. My camera actually died as I was filming this part, so here's the two triangles taped together. Now I'm going to use my router with the flush cut bit and trim both triangles so they match exactly. Then, just as I did before, I'm going to sand all the machine marks out while they're still taped together, and then once I'm happy, I will pull them apart to put a round over on them. Now I'm going to mark out and pre-drill the placement of my screws on the 32 inch stringers that will create the static side of the pickler triangle. These can go anywhere really, I try to space my screws as far apart from each other as possible for optimal strength. I made a mark on the end of my stringer at the center of the radius, then square the mark down the edge and onto the other side where I need to drill the hole for the pivot screw. And I'm going to be adding two threaded inserts on this side of the triangle, so I'm making sure that I don't drill all the way through the wood, and I'm using this awesome little trick called the flag tape to ensure that I don't drill right through my piece. You probably noticed that I just used a small pilot hole drill bit when I'm going to be adding threaded inserts, and obviously the threaded inserts are much larger than the small pilot hole, but when drilling something crucial like this with a hand drill, I like to drill in steps, so starting with the small bit, then move on to a medium size, then finally the size that you actually need. This just ensures that I don't vary or wander from the hole and my hole stays exactly where I drilled it the first time. Using some CA glue to lock in the threaded inserts, I drop them in the hole. Now that the pilot holes are drilled and the threaded inserts are installed, it's time to start drilling out for the hardware. So I just wanted to recess the washer, I thought it would be a cleaner look. Then I drill a quarter inch hole for the pivot screw. The second hole at the bottom of the triangle is going to be for the star knob. Again, I wanted to recess this so it didn't stick out too far, so I went ahead and drilled it down about halfway through the board. Then I followed through with a quarter inch bit to accept the star knob. Okay, I know this is a lot of steps, but now it's time to start putting this thing together. So I take some Gorilla Glue and squeeze a little bit into each hole before I put the dowels in. I decided to pre-finish the dowels because I thought it would be easier to do it before they're installed as opposed to trying to do it in place. If you're getting any value out of today's build, please hit that like button for me and subscribe if you haven't already. 
or share with somebody that would like this video. And if you really enjoy my channel, hit the bell beside the subscribe button so you never miss another video. Oh, and if you're wondering what type of screws I'm using, I'm using two inch number eight screws to install the dowel. Okay, so now that I got both ladders put together, it's time to install the static side of the triangle. I use a little bit of glue and grab the longer ladder, the 36 inch side, and screw it in place. Then repeat on the other side. So as you may see here, the triangle and ladder didn't quite match. So I grabbed my router with the flush cut bit and trimmed it to match. Then I swapped bits to the eighth inch round over and quickly softened the edge. Before I hit this thing with mineral oil, I gotta put my brand on it. And I like to use my stove top to heat up the brass. I find it gives me a more consistent burn and I don't need to sit there for five minutes with the torch heating it up. I mean, it's no electric branding iron, so it's not perfect, but it'll have to do. Still better than a torch. Like I said before, I'm using pure natural mineral oil to finish this because we all know how babies are. They like to put anything and everything in their mouth and chew. So this oil is non-toxic, 100% natural, so if they want to chew on it, it won't harm their innocent little bodies. And don't be shy with the oil, guys and gals. I like to lay it on nice and thick so I get good penetration, allowing the wood to soak up as much as possible before buffing it off. Once I get all surfaces oiled, I just set it aside while I oil the other piece, giving it at least 15 minutes to soak. Then I go back with a dry blue shop towel and wipe off the excess. Make sure you stick around to the end where I will demonstrate how it folds and stores against the wall, plus an additional feature I made that your kid will absolutely love. And it kind of completes the whole build. Now time to assemble. First I add the pivot screw in the top hole and I didn't show it here but I added a small amount of Loctite to the inside of the threaded insert but only on the pivot screw, just so the screw doesn't back out and get loose when folding and unfolding the pickler. Then I screw in the star knob, and boom, the pickler triangle is done. You having fun? Yeah. 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 How cute is he, right? If you were unsure about making this for your little one before seeing that, just remember that face and the fun he's having. I promise yours will love it just as much as he does. I can't get him off of it. Thanks for watching, and if you want to know how I made the slide slash climbing ramp, go check out this video and share it with someone who would love this. Hey, Dad. Hey, <laughs>